was first diagnosed, I thought melanoma, eye, that to me it didn't compute. I discovered that it was uh, extremely prone to metastasis and extremely difficult to treat. For me, in order to really understand it and to feel like I wasn't alone, I needed to connect with other patients. One of the issues with ocular melanoma, because it is an orphan disease, is that patients are not in direct contact with the experts in the field. It is very important for us as an organization to provide a forum for those conversations to happen. <laughs> this is actually the brainchild of my father, who is an ophthalmologist. He was a leading surgeon down in Virginia, and in 2000 he was diagnosed with ocular melanoma. This is a rare disease only affecting around 2,000 patients per year in the U.S. And he was really struck by how little information he, even as a top surgeon, was able to get. We together thought about an organization that would be there to provide both education and support for patients, but also directed research for this orphan disease. The first important thing is to understand your, your disease, to really know about your disease, know what it means. What we try to do now is literally provide to the patients what my dad did not have, which was a broad set of tools and resources to get through this journey. The EANA conference, the I'm Not Alone conference, is Ocular Melanoma Foundation's main patient event, where we combine expertise from the medical research side, but also the patient care side. All the names that you would encounter doing the leading edge research are here. These are the same size, but this is the melanoma and I'm going to explain to you how we know that's a melanoma. The opportunity to come down and to talk with them personally and learn from them personally in terms of what's going on, what's coming next, was amazing. With such a devastating disease such as this, knowledge is power. Any kinds of issues that are affecting OM patients, you're going to learn it at the conference. Having the opportunity to talk to not just the other doctors, the other scientists, but also the patients, um, you know, I learn something with every, every new conversation. Just try to get a sense of what it is from a patient's perspective, the struggles that they go through. I think it's very important for us as doctors. Well, just as we're looking to provide support for patients, we're also looking to support the caregivers alongside them in this journey. We can just share the stories and uh, kind of what we can give back to this group is uh, our experience of what we've learned along the way. Connecting with caregivers and other patients and coming to this retreat that the Ocular Melanoma Foundation put together, for me, has been my lifeline. I think this should be a very optimistic look at the future of UVL melanoma research. And in doing that, we really wanted to bring in some folks like Aura Biosciences that is looking at pseudoviruses and how they might attack primary tumors. One of the key things in a rare disease is that the patients are aware of these new drugs because uh, if there is a clinical trial and no one knows about it, then it's very difficult to recruit and have enough patients interested in participating. What patients seem to get out of coming to I Am Not Alone is a sense of community. It's an orphan disease and I think it's imperative we make sure people understand they're not alone in this journey. These uh, conferences are wonderful for networking. I truly believe that in my lifetime we will see a cure for uveal melanoma. That's why we say as an organization our focus is on seeing a cure. I think these patients are going to see many more opportunities. Someday everybody with ocular melanoma won't have to worry about getting metastatic disease. We need to be able to do so much more to keep patients alive for longer and, event and hopefully find a cure. There can't be just one or two doctors doing this. Our goal is to work together with OMF in identifying and helping patients with ocular melanoma and making it a better future. The information here is great and I think there is hope and the percentages are getting better. It just feels like a real corner has been turned in this fight. And this is something we need to do together and OMF brings us all together and brings that information to the patients.